Well, it is a weather aware evening here in central Indiana. Already some counties across north central parts of the state under a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m. right now. That includes Marion and Peru and Hartford City. Um, still quiet for the most part around the metro area. We've had a few pop up thunderstorms. This axis here should begin to increase in coverage on approach to the metro area roughly around 8 9 p.m. here. So far, so good. We haven't had any severe thunderstorm warnings. Doesn't mean that we don't have some cells up here across the north that could become that with uh, some locally severe hail or wind. OK, so heads up there in Logansport as well as Peru, Monticello as well. That's the axis we're talking about around the metro area. This is a storm that's moving through Morgan County now, Martinsville. Uh, heads up Paragon as well as Franklin moving your direction. But for the most part, it's been relatively quiet as expected around Marion County. We're going to wait and watch that uh, axis of uh, storms back to our west. In the meanwhile, a little rain cooled air at 82 in Indy. We've had temperatures up near 90 for the bulk of the day, and that breeze continues from the southwest. It will change to the north and northwest tomorrow, and the transition is what's going to produce these thunderstorms. On the increase this evening, so definitely if you're heading out, be on the lookout for that near and after sunset. If you're going to Victory Field here this evening, can't rule out a delay. Okay, here it is with future track 13 as the coverage increases. This is at 11 p.m. The threat of severe weather will begin shutting down by about two or three in the morning. And then as we wake up tomorrow morning, we will notice a bit of a shift in the wind and that will keep us cooler. I still think we're going to have some showers around in the morning as you get out to work, send the kids off to school. And then the showers should end. Clouds hanging with us in the afternoon. Temperature is going to be cooler. We were near 90 today. We'll be closer to 80 for a daytime high on Wednesday. This cool down, however, is going to be brief. But the wind shift kicks in here, and we will have a less humid feel to finish off on Wednesday. We will be right back to the heat streak after we get through Thursday. We're turning the temperatures back up into the upper 80s for several more days, including this weekend. And it wouldn't stun me if we get a 90 degree day out of this, perhaps uh, Sunday, Monday of next week. Make sure you have a free app and watch those storms as we go through the evening.